Thank you very much. Hello. Today I'll be giving a talk about what I'm doing on a daily basis in the lecture theater. What I'm doing, I'm a, I'm a lecturer, I'm a teacher. And for several years I've been doing my work uh, in a kind of a, a machine metaphor. By that I don't mean that this is a, I mean a, a cold, efficient machine, but a machine about uh, trying to educate people for the future, you guys. Uh, and it all has to do with me. Because what, I, what, I do, what I'm thinking of is we all have, and I as well, has a kind of a frame. Inside of the frame, I'm quite confident. This is inside my zone, my comfort zone. And what I'm, I'm trying to experiment with is when I'm going outside of my comfort zone, when I'm stepping outside of it, when I'm trying different, different techniques, when I'm turning myself, looking at myself from outside, things are, trying, things are happening. And turning back to this machine metaphor, the machine needs a spark, some kind of energy that kicks off an environment like this. And there's no lecturer, no teacher in the world that doesn't want this kind of energy in his or her room. That's what I believe, at least. So what's about this spark? Well, it all has to be, the, oh, it has to start with me. I'm the one that's supposed to start the energy so I can move you. The one that I want to, to give the, the learning process started with. So the spark is, has all to do with what I'm doing in the lecture theater. I, I'm, of course, I'm trained to give my lectures in history and, and entrepreneurship with passion. But when I'm starting to ask why, it's only when I start to ask why this is important. It's important for me. Then, hopefully, it's become more important for you. We are all trained, and we are, of course, we know this. It's a kind of strange thing. How did it come to be like this? And what's going on in the classroom is it receiving information in a passive way. And of course, it's boring. I've been there myself, and probably you also experiment this. So the only one that can change that is actually me. And that's what I'm doing with different things that I'm experimenting with, some kind of a uh, way to integrate with my students, make them active, and of course, making this energy, make, make something happen. Not all the time, I'm doing a lot of boring stuff as well, I know. But, but then again, I have to experiment with the different tools and techniques that I can think of in the lecture theater. And obviously, there's a lot of things that I can do, and it can be summed up in one word, create energy. And also, there's another difficult, difficult, strange thing about what's going on. The last 15, 10 years, my students in the lecture theater are packed with equipment, with the, the, the computers and their online, I mean, things they like to do uh, and not listening to me. And I'm supposed to give them inspiration and motivation for the future. How can I do that? And also, there's been some experiments that I did that went really bad. And what did I learn from that? I could be afraid and never do it again. This is a picture from a role play. And these students were not well prepared for my experiment. So they flocked like little children in a corner. How embarrassing was that for me and even for the students? So I had to turn these things into a positive learning, even for me. And this is a huge obstacle for, for a lecturer and a teacher to do because you can go wrong and you don't want to, to go wrong, the students can turn you down. But again, if you don't experiment, if you don't get out of that comfort zone, nothing will happen. And what inspires me then to go further, to experiment more? Well, I think I can make an impact on people. I know that's crazy. That's probably why I'm here. I'm the outlier. I think I could make a small difference. but. Who, who knows, if I didn't try it out, if I didn't experiment, I never would have been here. So that's something. There's another word in, in, a kind of, in the business I am in, in the education business, there's a kind of expectation of what, uh, what you are allowed to do. 
what, what, what's it supposed to do, and what, what are my job, and what are your job. So let's think about this. We are now going together to create some energy, and this is an experiment. Yes, of course, if this was a classical uh, orchestrated uh, show, you will never do the wave, would you? And you never do it in the lecture theater. But if we did it now on the purpose as an experiment to create energy, I will try to show you how I can facilitate this. So if we start over here, and I will, I will tell you we are now doing the wave. And we will make it go around a couple of times, create energy, and I will put it in this famous Norwegian glass and keep it through the winter and have it in my office. Okay, are we all ready? You all know what to do. Let's start over here. As much sound as possible. On the count of three. One, two, three. Come on, guys. Make it going, come on. Louder. Thank you. Here we go. Did you feel that? Did you get some of your energy yourselves? That's a good feeling, isn't it? And it's easy. I don't do this in, in the lectures, the theater, the wave. But it's also something you can think of. Where and when and how can you do these things to, get, to interact with your students? And I experiment with provocation. I yell at my students. <laughs> I do. But I'm carefully paying attention so I don't scare them off. It's very important they can be angry with me. I can be the funny guy. I can say the strange thing. But my only goal for this is to get you, the student, motivated. To be inspired. To look for why is this guy shouting? What's his problem? <laughs> and what I discovered, this actually works. It works for me, it might not work for you, but I went out of my comfort zone and then things start to happen. And it's really funny. <laughs> my role as a facilitator, not a lecturer, not the one that has all the answers, is challenging in the daily basis of my work because of the technology, for a lot of my colleagues, it's a threat. For me, it's a, it's a possibility to do things that I didn't did and can do before. And what I do, I have, I have small practices, small questionnaires in the lectures, and this are my students working when they should be listening to me. And this is an example of a spark. Can you see it? He's actually learning something. Their mouths are open. They are occupied with something. They are learning. And even I am learning because the things they are doing and creating are we creating together. And that's the core of learning. Everyone has to know to feel that we are into something together. I don't have all the answers. No one has. But maybe I can ask some questions. And that's what I hopefully, hopefully, hopefully can pass forward to you. So ask this question, make this energy, and make the curiosity go. And I love this theme, the outlier theme. Of course we are outliers, the whole bunch of us. We are lucky, we are wealthy, are a little bit spoiled, we don't talk about that. But we have probably the best starting point ever. And then again, being a lecturer, if I'm not the one to think critically about what I'm doing, if I'm not able to change some of that, I'm raised, trained, and taught that knowledge and education is be, it's supposed to be given from me to you. But it's not true, because I don't have these answers. So I really want to encourage you to think how you can motivate your professors and your lecturers to get out their comfort zones, to get out there and try to encourage you and motivate you by being themselves and to put passion into it. Because when you put passion into it, you get the response. And with the response, you get the reprogramming. And it's required because the world is changing. And hopefully you will be a part of it.
But then outside of the lecture theater, there's a lot of energy going, you know. And I also see it. And actually, I'm not worried about it at all. There's only in Norway, you can get the students to build indoor ski jumps, have a lot of fun, create a lot of energy. And why isn't that energy inside of my lecture theater? That is what I'm trying to accomplish. Because with the energy, things start to happen. So I'm not worried. I'm looking for sparks, looking for something to get the energy going for myself. I'm putting myself out there, trying things that I obviously don't know how it will, it will come out. And I really encourage you to do the same. Because then things start to happen. Maybe it's not a good metaphor in a way. It's something I just come up with. Uh, and I really, really think that everything is possible if you just start with yourself. That's it, actually. That's what I came here to say. So, good luck with you, and thank you very much for listening to me. And thanks for the energy.